A variety of strategies and operations can be used to solve real-world problems. Let's apply what we know about an area model to our use of the partial quotient strategy. Mrs. Hall ordered 200 bottles of water for the school's annual mile race. If each case of water has 25 bottles in it, how many cases did Mrs. Hall order? We're going to compare partial quotients to an area model. Since Mrs. Hall ordered 200 total bottles and they were split evenly into groups of 25, the problem is 200 divided by 25. We're going to start our partial quotients the same way we would an area model, with our dividend. In this case, the 200 total bottles that are being split up is our dividend. Next, we use our divisor, which is 25, or the number in each group. And now it's time to solve using partial quotients. I know that four groups of 25 equals 100. So I'm going to subtract that 100 from my dividend, 200, and I'm left with 100 again. Four more groups of 25 equals 100, and now it's time to add together the partial quotients. Four plus four equals eight. So eight cases of water were ordered by Mrs. Hall. Let's help Mrs. Hall with another situation. Mrs. Hall ordered 168 ribbons for the race. She asked 14 volunteers to hand out an equal number of ribbons to the runners. How many ribbons did each volunteer hand out? The total is 168, the number of ribbons, and there are 14 volunteers, so the problem that we're solving here is 168 divided by 14. I'm going to go through the same process using my dividend and divisor to find the quotient. We take our dividend, 168, and our divisor, 14, and I don't know 168 divided by 14 using mental math, so I need to figure out the answer. Sometimes a good place to start is using multiples of 10 to help us work our way towards the dividend. I know that 10 groups of 14 equals 140. Now I subtract that from my dividend and I'm left with 28. Two groups of 14 equals 28. Now it's time to add my partial quotients together to get the quotient. 10 plus 2 equals 12. So 12 ribbons were handed out by each volunteer. We know how to solve division problems using partial quotients. A variety of strategies and operations can be used to solve real-world problems.